Pixel Narratives with Anutosh. In this episode, we have a wonderful guest with us. He is a very dynamic person in the way the work that he has done over the period of time. Born in a very small village in the outskirts of Guwahati, Pamohi. And returning back to his village after completing his graduation, he initiated a very small home tuition uh, class for the children of his village. And in the year 2003, he started that class with his own savings of 800 rupees with four children. That small class has now emerged as one of the wonderful school with 265 students studying from nursery to class 10. The Parijat Academy and the initiation by Mr. Uttam Teron, our guest today. So, welcome to Pixel Narratives with Anutosh. It is really such a wonderful moment for us to invite you to our studios and we would like to hear about how you started and what actually had inspired you starting this beautiful Parijat Academy. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, sir, uh, for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, when I started a Parizat Academy in my village uh, in 2003, the year before that, 
I have seen in our village like a dropout and some parents are like a reluctant to send their children to school because parents are not much aware about education. Then I realized if these children are still like this, you know, because city is very close to our village, uh, after 30 years what will happen if the children are still like this, like uh, roaming here and there, uh, if they are like uh, not uh, benefited from education. So after 30 years maybe uh, it will be uh, uh, not good for in our society. So it should be like educated, how to make education aware in our area. Then I decided, uh, I cannot start like a big way. I started in a small way, in a small caution. I asked my moms and dad, uh, give me permission in, the, uh, in our old caution where I can start a small way. At that time, uh, I didn't realize uh, that, that that will be like uh, some uh, problem maybe, or not, may not be a problem. Uh, whether my uh, moms and dads will agree. Uh, at the initial time, uh, my parents also not interested in this kind of thing because uh, they don't uh, they don't want to see uh, their uh, son like uh, where there is no money, uh, 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 works like a non-profit in the sector. If there is no money, yeah. uh, it is very difficult. So uh, I thought let's test. Uh, I want to do something little bit for these uh, like a deprived and uh, drop out children and those parents are not interested or sending. So I want to make a little bit change to education but I don't know uh, how far it will uh, how far it will reach. Then I took a bold initiative from my own inner uh, conscience. Uh, let's start. Zobi hoga like that. Uh, we made 800 rupees. I arranged one decks and then beds, uh, like a bamboo wall. Tin roof was there at the times. Uh, little bit the uh, surface was like a irregular, uh, muddy. Uh, my mom's actually that uh, uh, clean with hands. Then I started. I decided because in Assam the academic year is uh, January to December. If I start something, I have to start from January. That was my intention. That let's see. Uh, if I start from January, it will be good. And I don't know who will come. Then when I told to uh, the villager people, village people, uh, hey, I'm started. Those parents are interested. Please send your kids. At least they will learn every day one hour. That was the uh, story. Then I teach them one hour daily, uh, except Sunday. Uh, what I will teach? Because I have no Montessori training. I have no uh, teaching. The, um, idea but what my heart says I'm doing that way I'm doing that way what students will what students like what they love I just see in their eyes mm, what I say they follow me if I do acting act or if I dance if I jump they follow me uh, that then I realize uh, that means I have to take different thing uh, at a different time so in one hour I teach like a little bit singing, maybe small dance, like clay or uh, models, like uh, colors. Yeah, and that, is, uh, that is actually the modern uh, concept of teaching students, activity-based learning. Absolutely. And that is what uh, you have been doing even without knowing that that, knowing, is the, yes. that is the 21st century skills of learning and teaching students with lot of uh, activities True. which children love to do. And it's they not only not only the books, reading and writing and thing. They dance, they play, they do a lot of things. And Absolutely. you know, uh, it, the talent of the children they come out. Yeah. When we give them this kind of a space, and they start doing something on their own. Yes. So you have been doing something really without uh, training, but without but the training, without and training. that too in the year 2003, Three, yes. when this concept was very very, uh, you know, it had just come up. Yeah, yeah, and, yes. And yes. uh, with the NCF uh, 2005, it was just... Right to education. Right, right to education. education. That was later in 2010. Uh, uh, yes, in 2005, with the NCF 2005, you know, this, uh, you know, activity-based learning, learning concept started coming from NCRT and we have uh, got all this new education system. And you have been doing this in a very 
in Look, 2003 remote, remote location the small uh, room in a small room though village. very near to the main city but then you are in a distant village, village. and you have done a, such a wonderful thing and uh, you have named your academy parijar academy. academy and why and i choose parijar okay yes that 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 was what i was uh, thinking every time i was reading parijar academy parijar is a flower yes and the beauty of this flower is that it blooms in the night and in the morning it is gone and that fragrance is entire night it doesn't let you sleep and this is one of those flowers that we used in any kind of hindu festival and this is one of those beautiful flowers that grows entire himalayan range up to indonesia and china and uh, parijat the small you know white uh, color with that orange but it's a beautiful uh, thing and you have been spreading like the name that you have yeah. thought for your academy parijat academy like the flower that blooms at night in the darkness spreading the fragrance from door to door and removing the darkness from the lives of the students and uh, those students who have been school dropouts students who have uh, left the uh, academic yes. and uh, because of the financial uh, yes, conditions yes. Yes. they have <laughs> never been to a school and you have been going door to door and bringing them to the mainstream mm -hmm. spreading education in the form of parijat academy mm -hmm. so it has been a wonderful thing and uh, uh, recent uh, development in your uh, academy is that you have also initiated skill development so true that so that is that is the this, this you know addition, the, addition, our addition, uh, like uh, you know honorable skill. prime minister's uh, mission uh, mm -hmm. you know skill india. skill india so you have been uh, you have already started that and you have handloom uh, weaving center you have handloom Uh, so stitching. you teach the children yes yes we and they, they make this their handloom is for the community also as well as for our students okay the skill weavers they teach our students also okay. because they have to know this skill yes. uh, textile uh -huh. because this is a traditional you are doing the traditional traditional form, of, uh, form but with a modern adding also okay. because okay. like a uh, how to make a finished product they have to know actually uh -huh. uh, with education simultaneously they have to know with education so uh, they are also doing the designing yes part. designing like a how to text and yes planning they have to they have to know the even yes. quality and uh, like a customer interest what okay. customer they okay. like they have to know we so make they, like they, a, they are also doing the marketing part also. marketing they are not uh, they are like the students yeah. but uh, our teachers with team at parisa academy we looks marketing we are doing not doing a big marketing also whoever comes to our parisa academy okay. they see our handlooms like a backlash or sari stoles everything this kind of so small small things okay. but if people buy huh. and this is like a supplementary of our like uh, in our school so like that, that 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 gives you a sustainable so thing like for your uh, uh, parisa academy as also. well as for day to day or ex Okay. Also, okay. like a, like a tissues, the so, so uh, all your uh, you know skill development is uh, actually towards uh, sustaining sustaining your we, we uh, parish academy also. And you have also started a hostel. Hostel, we have a hostel from 2008. Okay. Yes, we are uh, taking from we are like a walking with a twelve uh, or thirteen remote village. Okay. Uh, coming and uh, daily coming. They are all all, all all near to. Near by like a four or say forty kilometers away from our main main okay. center. Okay. It's a remote forest village, but there is no electricity. And no those villages forest. are in Assam. Assam is in a yes. Garbanga forest is a forest. Garbanga is yes, uh, you know. Yes, it's like uh, very close to, to Assam. Like a, yes, this a uh, Kamru okay. Metro okay. Park border. Okay. And, and your medium of English is like school is SMS medium school, medium school. Okay. But uh, visitors who visit uh, visit we are getting visitors from different part of India also. Okay. That's why that's why we are giving importance on English also. Okay. Because they have to know English that we do. Okay. Okay. Because for okay. communication. Okay. So. Uh, so these children when they come to your school. Yes. They come on their own or. Uh, like oh, now just they come home because oh. uh, because this a. Uh, Like I mean that awareness, awareness is now students. Okay. The parents okay. are now are now air. Parents okay, I want to send in my kids. Is it possible? Okay, come if um, three years and plus. Okay. Then most welcome. Most okay. welcome. 
She so, was a play group. Okay. Sit from play group on And then they take the board examination of board the Assam, like Assam, board? Assam, Assam, Assam board. Assam, Assam board. So Assam that, board. That, that's the future is future, uh, yes, secure. Yes, yes. And okay. those who are like a learning disability, like a slow learner, uh, uh, um, they are not able to attend like a board exam. We are thinking the National Institute of Open Schooling also. Okay, NIOS. Yes, NIOS. Oh, right. So we, are, we want to add that one also. Okay. So uh, skills are part. Uh, because education is uh, overall, you see, you see all over in India, education giving important. But simultaneously, if, if, if we able to add like a skill, yes, that yes. will be benefit because they have to hands on work, they have to survive. Right, right. Because education is very competitive, very yes. competitive. It's key and, and, and the jobs are not, <laughs> not available. Now. Yes, yes. You don't. Uh, yes, they have. Yes, they have know. to be like an entrepreneurship mind. Exactly. We have to. We have to change their mind, uh -huh. mentality. We have to change. We have to see uh, right. their ability. And. Um, you also initiated a banana fiber banana extraction. Fiber. Yes, yes. So what is the purpose of that? Uh, this actually project was like a, from uh, Indian uh, sorry Institute of Advanced Study Science and Technology. Hmm. One of the professors, head of the professor that third, and she was doing that project uh, under the support from the Department of Science and Technology Government, Government of India. They want to make a community uh, learning uh, and uh, something like a uh, in a village, like okay. a banana fiber, how to extract banana fiber, and from banana fiber, what we can make, like a utility items, like a maybe bag, banana fiber bag, okay. that we can, the residue, we can make like a balmy compost, and some things, uh, the other parts we can like, uh, which we use for like a, dead uh, ones also, so basically now we are planning uh, the banana fiber to make like a rope, mm. so we have a machine, they procure a machine, uh, giving a machine to us, we collect a banana, uh, that is called bean call from local village or from Garbhanga also. We carry in a van and uh, the, the peel like a, like a, the bar. We use like a fiber. Okay. We dry for two three days and make a, like a rope like. Uh, we may try to make a bags whatever. We also trying to make how to make a, with cotton and banana fiber wave or table map. We are thinking. Okay. So it is a uh, it will it will so take time. But we have already started. Program, uh, Programs yes. It's and teaching uh, also. We have and a teaching uh, program. I'm sure that uh, since you have already started skill development, there will be more skill development uh, activities yes. going on in your school. And uh, I want to add one thing also. In our school, our girls they make reusable washable sanitary pad. We already distributed yes. more than ten thousand pieces in the remote forest village. Okay. That are cotton reusable washable sanitary pad because they cannot buy from market. They have no resources to buy. They cannot mm -hmm. come to city to buy like that. So we distributed them, distributed, they, they try. This is free of course. And, 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 and uh, I think that is one of your uh, areas guess, uh, where uh, you have also uh, generated an awareness. Awareness actually. Of, on the girl the hygiene. Uh, yes, the menstruation. menstruation hygiene. Yes, okay, men yes. Yes. because yes. I was just going through your school uh, buildings. I have seen a lot of visuals which okay. uh, actually, you know, uh, it's really good that you know you have been focusing on the, those areas which normally people do not like, yes, like, like to talk. They don't uh, yeah, like uh, because of the taboos. Of taboos, society. absolutely, absolutely. That's and um, uh, and it's really wonderful that you know uh, Uttam Teran has been doing such wonderful work and recognition has come to him from different places. He has received the awards from the Eastern Indian. Women Association Social Service from Guwahati, Rotary Award from Dispur Rotary Club, Balibara Foundation Award, Lions Club Karma Yogi Award, CNN IBN Award, School News Award, Lokmani Lal Award, and Gurudev Kalicharan Brahma Award. So these are these awards actually testify the uh, work that he has been doing in isolation in a place all on his own resource and doing such wonderful work uh, spreading education to the places where the education the light of education has not yet reached and bringing awareness generating an awareness among the mass of that small village where he was born and brought up I am sure your parents must be very happy Oh, now yes, looking yes, at you. Yes, yes. My father is no more, but he have seen. He have seen. Uh, yeah, they are like a happy. Uh, at least their son is not doing wrong thing. Yeah, yeah. They so were, instead of um, 
roaming he, he must be blessing you uh, and your mother is still there miss the mother mom she is, is uh, uh, shrimati parameshwari teran yeah. and uh, uh, maya ram Ma teran father. was yes. your father yes. Yes. No yeah. uh, one question that comes to my mind even what actually uh, gave you that spark in you that you should do something like this i was not uh, i was not interested in this kind of thing teaching is for me before that before i started prize that academy when i not thinking like that teaching is like for me it's a boring subject it's a boring uh, <laughs> it's a boring for me because this but do you think that it is a now boring subject now i'm now? i'm not enjoying it because <laughs> it should comes from heart actually teaching yes, life yes. it's not forceful if somebody for forcing i hey, have to teach like that it will not happen uh, if i not enjoy teaching I cannot make enjoy our students also, so that's why this thing should comes from heart. It should be like a innovation. This is like a creator. Uh, they can make different things. They are nascent builders, like you know, from from baby to from uh, nursery level to up to adult. Uh, this is like a something. This profession. Then I realize, okay, this is a very novel, and I realize now they are very. Uh, Very interesting, interesting. Before yeah. that, I was not interested. Yeah, teaching you, is a point. Uh, like uh, uh, you know, I had also been a teacher for a long time, and uh, what I realized that yes, like you, I also didn't think that I would be a teacher. But uh, being a teacher, and then after uh, almost three decades, I realized that that was the best period of my life. Yes. And now that uh, you know, I really miss my school. I miss the children most. Mm -hmm. and because uh, that smile that i get yes i mean looking day, at yes. the child and that is one of the biggest award of the biggest satisfaction to to be yes uh, you know uh, and uh, being a teacher yes uh, i am as you say that you are enjoying i am sure your students must be also enjoying yes true and the society that you have changed where uh, they were all under darkness they yes, have seen the light of in, education yes, in and the life has changed yes yes so, yes so not much but up to some extent yeah it in has 20, changed in, in, in it has begun years. it, it yes. has begun to change change and you know and that change makes lot of difference in the society yes and uh, what what else do you want to do after that ah uh, lot of in a, in a pipeline lot of things in my mind uh, i want because to because entire thing is your brainchild you yes, have been thinking yes, and you have yes, been doing yes, it yes yes do we have a team but i have to think what to add new thing something innovation innovatively will so that students let them enjoy right. it should be joyful yes and now we are thinking how to make this things like a skill way how to make a placement job job creation what to do uh, capability soft skill because nowadays speaking ability is important uh, interpersonal development is important because if they want to do something job somewhere out of some they have to they have to be capable there how to meet people that is that quality we have to build from now onwards uh, so that part also we am thinking uh, time to time i am thinking to add 11 and 12 hours so when they will reach like a uh, 18 years they are uh, right time to like say after 18 years they will be not a the child they will they'll, be like they'll, a like a teenager like take like their own decision their own decision Right. Up, uh, up to uh, below 18 eight, eight years, been like a child, so uh, so that they can get jobs, something we want to get. So interestingly, recently, uh, like a Tata Motors uh, for semiconductors, they organize like a uh, thousands girls from Assam like a uh, interview, okay. so that they will uh, they will uh, if they are selected, they will go to the Bangalore huh. in the semiconductor huh. management. Huh. One of our girls also uh, got chance. Now she is in uh, uh, Bangalore. Wow. Uh, yes, she got a uh, job offer letter uh, in a uh, in an interview, and she is agree. I I uh, want to go to Bangalore in a semiconductor assembly in their office. Okay, so she is like a 12 plus, 12 yeah. plus. So at least in their village, in a home, um, uh, she is in uh, now uh, an apprentice uh, category. Uh, she is getting like a 12 thousand rupees. So at least yes, in our family, at least you can support your family. So, uh, uh, what is the response from the parents of those yeah, villages? Parents, parents, who for the first time have come. By flight, by flight, flying from Bangladesh to Bangalore, it's a dreams for. It was a dream for them, okay. but it is brings in reality. Yeah. So parents are approach me. 
please allow her. I was not interested to send them because she need to complete her degree. Okay. So I thought, uh, in uh, if she complete degree, if not get timely job also in private sector, whatever, uh, again they will be she will feel uh, disappointed to me. Then I uh, thought, let's uh, give permission to her mom and she is happy. Okay. So that also learning. So our students got like a uh, some government police job. Okay. Uh, in 2000, I uh, say. Uh, Five or six years ago. Okay. Six years ago. Okay. Uh, his name was published in uh, Assam Tribune newspaper in uh, in a Kamru Metro. It's a fifth position. Okay. He did uh, from Casidas uh, uh, Commerce. Okay. He was a student in, in our school. He stayed in our hostel. Well, I brought him when he was like uh, eight or nine years old mm -hmm. from remote forest village. Now yes, now he's happy. Okay. So that was uh, a very wonderful conversation with uh, Mr. Uttam Karan. And uh, we have come to know about the wonderful work that he has been doing in Parijat Academy. And I am sure the viewers have got a, a very small insight that yes, if you have a good thing in your mind that is coming up and you want to bring that and share it with your society, develop and build your society, you really don't have to worry much because you have a wonderful goal ahead and that is what we have come across while listening to the life and times of Uttam Taran. In the next episode, we will again talk to another person who will be sharing his life experiences. Till then, goodbye. <laughs>